So if you've ever wondered how to cast lots or how to how to do a rune casting, there are many many ways to do it. Some are more modernized than others. Um, you can do it in the same way you would say a tarot spread. So you could do, uh, say, many people do past, present, future, and then they'll do maybe what uh, helps you, what deters you or what's against you, what would, what would uh, hold you back. You could do something for, say, advice, you know, anything you want you can do through runes and many people will use spreads like this. But it's unlikely that the ancients did something that was so tarot-like. Basically all we know is that they would take wood from the branch of a fruit-bearing tree, they would cut it into slips, they would mark each one with a sign, a distinctive symbol, and then they would scatter lots, they said, at random on a piece of white cloth. Well, I have black cloth, but we'll do this here. But what they would do is an official priest would come if it's a matter of great importance, or the head of a household would try and read the runes if it's just a private matter. They would pray to the gods, they'd look up to the sky, pick up each slip of wood one at a time, and interpret them in accordance with the signs that were etched so upon So in them. ancient times what we know is they were cast in a very simple way without any kind of organized structure. So if you want to do it that way, what we can do is just reach into your bag, just randomly take a handful, just take a bunch of them, and you can just basically cast them, okay? This particular set of runes has a symbol on one side and just a stone on the other. You can read stones if you want, but for this particular exercise, I'm just focusing only on the runes. So what we have here is two are upside down, so they can't be read, and then we have these that can be read. So you can read them any way you want. I like to read things that are close together as being meaningful. I noticed this one is close to this one, so there may be something, say, in denial about this one. Now, the ancients used to only read the ones that were turned up, from what we know. So you can take the ones that you have and start reading them. You can even read reversals if you'd like. Now, this one that has to do with hail, remember, uh, doesn't have a reversal because it's read either way. On its side, you might want to take it as a, a halfway there or half of the energy if you want. You can do that. The one that represents the thorn or the hammer. We have here, it's, this is actually, it used to indicate giants, but we can read this one. We have our victory rune here. We have so our... So there's one of balance. It's the day rune. Okay, inhale. So we've got some difficult runes here um, in terms of, this, this one te seems to offset them though, so it's more short, short term. So we have the victory over here with the short term, and then we have trouble, and then uh, we have our hammer, anger. So these are two, both two runes of anger. So something in terms of anger will be coming. Uh, you can interpret how you want it to be if this is on its side. This being further over here, you may want to consider more of the past. This may roll into the future, so something that used to be victorious, the one side of the balance, maybe it's turning over and there's more anger on the other side of the balance. And you can read it that way. If you want to have a circle, let's say an astrological wheel, and wherever they fall in it, they could mean something. You could do that. You could do anything breaking up a circle into uh, quadrants or even more than quadrants to see what they mean. Uh, as they land in certain areas. You can actually draw on a cloth if you want to, to make a casting cloth. If they fall into certain, say, houses, you can make any houses you want. And again, this is something that's not necessarily uh, the traditional way, but you can do it that Another way. thing you can do is if you like to use a pendulum for dowsing, you might want to say, okay, out of these reversed runes, perhaps there's a lesson I need to learn. So you might want to ask the, the pendulum to swing if it has to do with something that's to do with the lesson here. So you can kind of wait and see. Not getting much of a swing there. Let's see if this one does it. Okay, a little more of a swing there. The 
There we go. So there's our lesson. So this one I'm going to turn over and see maybe something, because it's upside down, perhaps something I don't see or something that I should know about. And then I have to go with movement. Somebody trying to move, somebody trying to get either status. Uh, so this, this, remember, has to do with the things we ride in or our status. So it has to do with uh, someone trying to make motion. So whether it's me or somebody else, that may be like this, this hidden thing that's playing because it was face down. Okay? You can, if you want, make use of the ones that are upside down for other things, but you don't need to. I'm going to try one more just so you can kind of see how the difference in how they land can really change what they mean. I like to take the ones that land close together. Alright, so this is a totally different room cast. One is way over here, but it's upside down. Some people also will take the ones that are closest to the middle. You'll have a, a point that you consider the center, and that will be the now, and as they spread out, it becomes further away to the future. Um, that's one way I do it, and when I read crystals, and oh, I got another rune under here from another set, but it's upside down, but let's see what it is. Oh, it's the, the sun, so hello. All right, so here we have, most of them are upside down, but we have one, two, three that are right side up. So we've got the harvest rune, the tear, the, the uh, one of the arrow, the gods and direction and victory. And we have again our hammer. <laughs> so that has something to say here. So these aren't really close together, but can you see how there's a cluster here? If you wanted to read, say, the harvest, and then to yourself say, okay, what's the hidden thing that I need to know? Because they're all clumped together. And you can take a look here, something that hasn't manifested yet. So the creativity, and then you've got the U. The U is persistence and uh, fighting for what you want and getting to the end. It's like, remember, the U branch makes the bow and arrow. So those may be things that could apply to the victory. Since these are both reversed, I'm not going to read those. But we had one upright, and I wanted it to define the harvest. Okay, okay one more casting. I'm just going to kind of reach in. And I've only got a few here. Let's see where they land. All are upside down except for the gifts. Gifu. So, uh, and again, that one doesn't have a reversal. So let's see. Um, let's see what is perhaps a hidden gift that I haven't considered. Maybe a little something there. Might be something there. Nope. So the two middle ones, maybe there's something I don't know about. Worth and balance ups and downs, so forth through ups and downs, so there's something to be learned through that. So again, you can do this in a variety of ways. There's no specifics that were taught to us. I like the more random look, but some people will just take it and say, okay, what is my lesson? What is the, what is the situation? Outcome? What is the past leading up to this? So you can do that sort of thing as well if you want to. Additionally, if you like to read in pairs, you can also do them this way so they can talk to each other. Kind of like the Norman cards. Again, this is very structured, so it's very doubtful this was done back then, but it's a way that they can be used today. So you can read in pairs, so not open to the future of intuition. The creativity uh, open to your gifts. Uh, this is lack of worth or self-worth, or lack of worth of something will freeze it. Communication is sunny, a communication is bright and glowing. So all these different things and you can apply them to the position they're in. So that's just another way that you could read runes.